Hello! Have you ever been curious about how farmers handle wild boar meat after hunting? Let's explore this journey together! Don't hesitate to leave the number one in the comments if you want to join us! The one who makes the sounds of the wild. The pigs are currently running away from the hunters. So what did they do to deserve being chased like that? Do you know? In America, encountering wild boars wandering along the roadside is quite common. They often appear suddenly in crowded cities, as if their surroundings were their natural habitat. This behavior poses numerous challenges to the surrounding environment. So what is the reason behind the destructive actions of wild boars? Let's follow along to the end of the video to learn that many believe the intrusion of wild boars may stem from their struggles in finding food, forcing them to invade urban areas in search of sustenance. Loss of natural habitat may result from deforestation, climate change, or human intervention, which has prompted them to seek food in urban areas. Their adaptation to this new environment is often attributed to the availability and accessibility of food in urban areas, driven by their survival needs. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Of course, Farmers cannot allow the sounder wild boar invasion to continue without taking action. They use traps to catch this sounder wild boar. However, what is worth noting here is that after wild boars were caught in traps, farmers used guns to destroy them. This raises questions about the purpose of this action by farmers. Some people choose to participate directly in the sounder boar hunt, not only for the task but also for the adventure and excitement it brings. They prepare meticulously with the right equipment and weapons and practice their skills to deal with unexpected situations in the wild. This is not just about killing wild boars, but also an opportunity to explore the beauty of wild nature and experience the excitement and tension of chasing prey in harsh environments. Do you like the way Americans handle this? If you like it, leave your number one in the comments. Farmers in the United States must comply with specific regulations regarding the disposal of wild boar carcasses after hunting to support this. Direct contact with local wildlife management agencies helps ensure that wild boar carcasses are disposed of safely and do not cause pollution or spread of disease in the surrounding area.
The Texas area is famous for being one of the epicenters of the invasive feral swine problem. An estimated 2 million wild boars live here, causing millions of dollars in damage to agriculture and the environment each year. The sudden increase in wild boar numbers has created an emergency situation, requiring strong management and control measures from both communities and state governments. According to wildlife management agencies, wild boars are considered a major risk in spreading dangerous diseases to both humans and domestic animals. Among these diseases, African swine fever is a notable threat, with the potential to cause serious consequences for livestock and human health. Furthermore, wild boars can also attack humans, especially when they feel threatened or perceive danger. This creates a potential risk when interacting with them, especially in areas where wild boars feel stressed or uncomfortable. So, how do farmers deal with this situation? If you are in their area, can you spare these wild boars? To solve this situation, many farmers have chosen hunting as an effective control method. Although wild boars are very agile, they cannot escape the pursuit of experienced hunters. Each wild boar is usually taken down within seconds, ensuring safety and minimizing risks to both the community and the agricultural environment. However, in a rapidly evolving agricultural environment like Texas, feral pig control has become necessary to protect community livelihoods and assets. Some residents in Texas have adopted a unique method to fight feral hogs. They used a private plane to conduct the pursuit. takes off, hunters are lifted high, ready to embark on a thrilling hunting expedition right from the start. The scene is undeniably impressive, with chaotic images of wild boars fleeing amidst the frenzy. However, they cannot escape the determined pursuit of the hunters on the ground. It is essential to obtain permission from the regulatory authorities before engaging in any hunting activities to ensure safety and compliance with regulations. cold climates, wild boars develop a thick layer of fur to keep their bodies warm and protect them from the bitter cold. This soft fur provides warmth and is part of an effective insulation system that helps them survive in harsh weather conditions. However, this thick layer of fur poses significant challenges for professional hunters. They are faced with tracking and hunting wild boar in snow-covered environments, where finding and reaching targets is more difficult than ever.
In Texas, residents not only stop at hunting wild pigs, but also choose to domesticate and raise them on farms. However, this is not easy because of the wild and ferocious nature of wild boars. Taming them requires patience, special skills, and safety measures to handle unexpected situations effectively. When wild boars reach adulthood, they are often carefully processed and then sold to the market. Wild boar meat is then used to cook and prepare many delicious and attractive dishes from frying and grilling to roasting and stir-frying soup. Many creative and attractive dishes are made from wild boar meat depending on each person's preferences and cooking style. Would you like to try wild boar meat if you have the chance? Welcome to Canada, a majestic country famous for its beautiful natural landscapes spread over a total area of 9,984,670 9 square kilometers. But as beautiful as it is, it's incredible to look at what Canadians face every day. Wild pests appear around urban areas, not just attacking people. It also causes unpredictable damage to trash cans and the surrounding environment. This intrusion caused farmers in the area to face unrelenting anger and anxiety. Their town where farmers lived, did not wish for the intrusion of wild wars to continue. Therefore, they decided to implement hunting measures to control the presence of wild boars. It is worth noting that these measures are completely legal and even encouraged, seen as a kind of game to prevent the spread of Canadian super pigs. Conditions to participate are simple. Just make sure you are old enough and have a hunting license. Then you can participate in this activity completely legally. However, if you do not support this method, please share another method that can effectively catch an entire herd of wild pigs without having to spend a lot of time and effort hunting them in the wild. One of those methods is using cage traps. Cage traps are specially designed with an opening in the trap door and use food as bait to deceive feral pigs. When they enter the trap to eat the bait, the trap door automatically closes, effectively capturing the entire herd. This design not only improves the efficiency of catching forest worms, but also minimizes the risk of their detection and avoidance. Where did these wild boar herds come from? Let's continue to explore wild boar that are mainly native to areas such as Asia, Europe, and North Africa where wild forms of pigs have been domesticated and bred. For thousands of years, do you know when wild emerald ash borers were imported into Canada? In the late 1980s, 
Wild emerald borers were introduced from Europe to Canada with the purpose of diversifying genetic resources in livestock farming. Some individuals brought wild emerald borers to Canada as game species. After a while, small populations of these feral pigs multiply and spread very quickly making them one of the most invasive mammal species in Canada. Canada boasts diverse forest areas, including mixed forest and prairie cover. About 14% of the land area is typically flat rolling used for agriculture and livestock, which facilitates beneficial for many different wildlife species, including wild emerald ash borers. These wild emerald borer species have been identified in all 10 Canadian provinces and three territories, showing a high degree of adaptability to a diverse range of habitats. The adaptation of wild boars to harsh environments is shown by the fact that they equip themselves with thick, dense fur in winter. This fur not only keeps the body warm on cold days, but also creates a solid layer of protection against cold wind and falling snow. This adaptability helps wild boars become more flexible in finding food and moving through different, challenging environments. Wild boar populations are growing steadily and exhibiting remarkable independence in Canada's rich food environment. The adaptive characteristics of wild boars are not only a sign of adaptation to diverse habitats, but also an improvement in their survival ability and expansion of their living range in this area. You already know that, in addition to causing damage to agriculture, wild boar herds also create other major problems for communities, frequently entering farmers' fields, they gnaw on corn plants and cause unpredictable losses each crop. But what is more remarkable? Aggression is caused not only by a few individuals, but also by the participation of the whole herd every year. The activities of wild boar herds cause billions of dollars in damage to crops, affecting not only the economy but also threatening the economic and ecological balance in the region. Rewinding time, we can see that Canada is famous for its temperate climate creating favorable conditions for agricultural corn that has become the top choice of farmers. The main reason behind this preference is not only the short harvest time but also the simple care requirements and reasonable market price that corn has given you all the effort to take care of the field, but now the pigs the forest invades and destroys everything. Will you forgive them? Keep watching until the end of the video to see how this battle plays out. You know what animal scares wild boars? It's none other than these extremely aggressive hunting dogs. When they identify a target, they show determination to take down the boars. Some farmers have tried to put up fences to keep out wild pigs, but without looking here you can see that wild stem borers have the flexibility to sneak over and easily escape the fence making it ineffective. Result of their intelligence. The 
most effective way to deal with the wild boar problem seems to be to use hunting methods. Before starting the hunt, the most important thing is to prepare thoroughly. Make sure you are equipped with a suitable and powerful hunting rifle to face the wild pigs. Checking gun ammunition and related accessories carefully before starting is an important step that cannot be overlooked. In addition, choosing clothes that are odor resistant and have colors suitable for the forest environment is also necessary. Finally, don't forget to bring the necessary documents and hunting license to ensure you have a perfect day of hunting and no legal problems. A feast with a menu of delicious wild boar meat will be an experience not to be missed after a day of hunting. Do you want to try hunting? Hunting wild pigs is not only an entertaining experience but also opens up the opportunity to enjoy a unique type of meat with a characteristic delicious flavor. Meat preparation methods can vary from grilling and roasting to marinating in soy sauce to enhance the natural flavor. However, not everyone appreciates wild pork, with only a few enjoying it. Healthy grazing land. There is an ongoing issue of competition for grazing land between wild horse advocates and farmers. Conflicts arising from the depletion of resources, especially fodder, due to the increasing number of wild horses. Before the appearance of wild horses, Cattle grazed freely on grasslands, providing farmers with plenty of grazing land. However, the presence of wild horses has led to significant challenges for farmers. Wild horses are resourceful and adaptable, capable of hunting for food, so they pose a threat to other species in the environment. Impacts include destruction of grazing land, consumption of stored hay for livestock and uprooting of grass and tree roots, leading to desolate landscapes. Farmers in states such as New Mexico have reported difficulties raising livestock as wild horses have eaten up stored hay, forcing them to travel long distances in search of pristine pastures. This competition for resources creates water shortages, affects irrigation for neighboring farms, and hinders grassland regeneration. Controlling wild horse populations is a complex problem and there is no easy solution. Various methods have been tested, including injecting birth control pills directly into wild horses. But the impact remains limited. Chasing is considered a minimally invasive method of preventing wild horses from taking away livestock feed 
and controlling their populations. Opinions on how to handle wild horses remain controversial. Some people advocate keeping them in breeding facilities, while others advocate allowing them to roam freely, demonstrating a connection to the spirit of nature and freedom of the past. Despite the cultural significance of wild horses, the growing population poses challenges in maintaining a healthy balance in the ecosystem, and the U.S. Bureau of Land Management estimates that the current population has exceeded beyond sustainability. The ongoing debate highlights the need for sustainable management measures to address competing interests in wild horse conservation and agricultural needs. Among invasive species in the United States, wild horses are a serious problem, and many measures have been taken to control their population. However, according to a 2022 report in the Journal of Wildlife Management, there are about 300,000 wild horses roaming freely across areas, including tribal territories and states. Contraceptives are a good solution to prevent the rapid increase of the wild horse population. However, this is not the only solution and requires the coordination of many different measures to ensure balance in the ecosystem. Wild horses have gone through a journey from mythology to the fascination of farmers today. Their appearance and impact is a typical example of the complex situation that humans face when changing the natural environment. Maintaining the balance between the environment and humans poses many challenges, and controlling the wild horse population is a comprehensive solution to protect the environment and farmers.